Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new here and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali and I'm Karina. And I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and upload, please go ahead and push that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, we are finally doing the Q&A. So these are all of the questions that you guys asked me. And that we're just gonna nice. do, so we're just gonna, <laughs> so we're just gonna do our makeup and answer all of the questions. So the first question was, how did you two meet? We hit a lick together. Don't say that. <laughs> um, we actually went to the same high school together, so that's how we knew of each other. But I saw that she got baptized, and then from there I just started reaching out to her. I asked her if she'd be my friend because I didn't have any. <laughs> and then we like went for lunch after church. Yeah. That lunch, lunch turned into like, a, I didn't go home till like six. Yeah, we ended up hanging out all day. We had lunch at like 12, 30, one o'clock. And then, yeah, she, she, we just hung out until like six. It was weird, cause like we, we never hung out in high school, like, or anything like that. But it was like after that day, like we just clicked, like. Yeah. All of a sudden, like we just hit it off, like super fast. Look at God. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have this. Well, let me let me read the question first. It says your favorite memory together. I said we don't have a lot of memories, but you know which one I always think about when I was riding with you and we were doing Uber Eats and that girl bent that corner. <laughs> hard. That one, or when you pulled, you were doing Uber Eats and I was riding with you, and you pulled into that Starbucks and <laughs> took the curb. <laughs> so obviously. Do driving remember. right into the car together this one's sweet this one says favorite things about each other am i going first i'm just gonna say do you want to go you want me okay. to go my favorite thing about ally is that i feel like i'm in a job interview <laughs> go that's why i should lie no I'm just kidding <laughs> go ahead no my favorite thing about ally is that she has a heart for the lord and she's just so kind and so thoughtful she popped up at my job, I don't know how many times with flowers, and it's just like, oh, I love the flowers, so. She's just so sweet and thoughtful in her gift giving. And her cards are always became My favorite thing about Karina is, I love how willing she is to learn about the things of God, and not only about the things of God, but just wisdom and life in general. And like, she, she understands that she can always learn something new. Like, it's not like she's just unteachable, because I think that's the worst characteristic a person could have is being unteachable. And she's a great mama. Like I love watching her stories and like seeing all the things and activities she's doing with her kids because I'm not on that level with my kids because they irritate me right now. But y'all don't believe everything on the internet. I'd probably be yelling at some kids. <laughs> <laughs> like have you ever tried to, well you, if you ever try to cook with your kids, you, you know bro. Girl, I try to, that's exactly why I don't do arts and crafts with my kids, the cookie decorating with my kids. Cause I feel like, do it my way or we're not doing this. And that's not how arts and crafts works. <laughs> like, don't let the girls get a project at school. Cause I'm like, we're gonna do it like this and like this. And they're like, no, I wanna make it right. And I'm like, but do you wanna win? <laughs> do you want them to pick yours? Exactly. <laughs> like even just a minute ago, they're cooking, co they're decorating cookies out there. And Ethan took the red and he went, <laughs> like, I gotta go. <laughs> And he should sure eat it. He no, so I don't know if you, uh, did your kids have to do the, the disguise, the turkey this year for school? No, but they've done it before. So I just did eat this for him because I was not, <laughs> I was not trying to go through the drama <laughs> of fighting with him. So I printed out a little cutout of Thomas the Train because that's his favorite, like every, out of just his favorite. Yeah. And then like I cut it out to where it fit like the face of the turkey. And then like I put like the little railroad tracks in front of the turkey and like the little Thomas and Friends symbol on there. It was real cute. And then he wet it that same morning he spilled water on it. <laughs> That's what you get. Cause you didn't let that boy have that experience of fighting the turkey. <laughs> yeah, I did that whole project for him. 
Okay, she said favorite things to do together. I think that goes back to just right. We just chill. Like even if we're doing Uber and not together, we don't FaceTime. Home. Yeah, like we just chill. Like just having each other's like presence, if you will. Cause like she said, a lot of the time it's just FaceTime. Yeah. So just dwelling in each other's presence, and I think it's because we have the same mindset. Yeah. It's probably just conversation in general. Pretty good conversation, and we're pretty hilarious. Yeah, we are. We're always cracking ourselves up. First impression when y'all met. <laughs> so, my cousin's wedding was the night before we went to that lunch. So, I went to, to church in like jeans and bands and a t shirt. And Allie walked up and she was looking all cute, and I was like, oh lord, she thinks I'm a hot mess. See, <laughs> no, the reason I was all dressed up is because I knew we were having lunch that day, and every time she would post a picture about being at church, she was all dressed up and fancy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to dress, dress up today. <laughs> that day, the girl goes to church dressed because I was looking tore up that day. <laughs> but our first, I don't think I went in, I don't think, I don't think I had any expectations, so I didn't have an impression, if that makes sense. Like, she wasn't worried about you, girl. Like, how can I say, like, I don't get first impressions off of people, like, like looking at them or like their vibe. Yeah, like, I, like, like, I, like I was instant. Like, it yeah, because I'm saying like we bonded instantly. So it's like first impression, I was just like, oh, she cool. We're having this conversation of how to say like <laughs> FWY, like I oh, FWY, why? <laughs> but without saying yeah, the cuss word. It's simple. Yeah. So I don't know, like I didn't, I just, it, like I, I think because I went in there not expecting, not that I wasn't expecting a friendship, like I honestly was just expecting like genuine conversation. Yeah. And out of that, we had genuine conversation and out of that a friendship, a friendship bloomed. There's something you two would like to do together that y'all haven't done yet. Go on vacation Girl, with everybody else. You, you took the words right out of my mouth. I got no children. I ain't got no man, but we, your man can't come here. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say no kids, no Brian. All the kids staying with Brian. All of them. That, was, that answers it. Yeah. Vacation okay. together. Girls trip. And it's not even like we would be out there. We'd probably just sleep and lay up in a hotel. Probably wake up at 6.30. Yeah, because it ain't like we're going out and trying to be buck wild. Like, all we would probably do on vacation is eat and be on our phone. I just want to be not in my book. Same. <laughs> Girl, we could go to, we could go to Abilene. <laughs> Next question is, how often do y'all talk? Every day. Every and day. And if the day goes by, one of us is texting like, I miss you. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah. Where have you been? But yeah, I think I think the most that we've ever gone without talking is like max two days. And I think that was last weekend. It was some busy week. Like you had a busy week and I had a busy week. And so like we were literally just like hi and like telling each other like hi bye your thought of. And I was like leaving her on red and I was like feeling bad, but I was like I, I was doing so much like I couldn't carry yeah. a conversation. And it's like that's also my like I was watching the YouTube yesterday and you were saying that like when you're social for so long, you like oh. kind of come home and like have to like, Re yeah, like revamp. And I'm, I'm like that too. Like I, not to say I live my life by like zodiacs, but like I'm a Libra and that's one of their characteristics is that like they, they like withdraw. Like every so often yeah. they like withdraw and I hadn't had that conversation with you. Like if I just disappear for like, no, cause I'm the same, same way. way. Yeah, because I know like my sisters, and I think you've probably experienced it like once, but you didn't really say anything, is like, I'll get short with my text messages. Like I won't be like as into it. Like that's just like, but I don't be getting offended, but I don't be texting. Yeah, I don't either. But, but then I, I also understand like, she has a full-time job. And then like, not only that, but if you've ever been a part of a church congregation, like there's always some kind of event every single weekend. Like even at our church now, like it's not, it, somebody's always doing something when you attend a church. Like Boy, you always being invited to something. This month hasn't been that bad, but November was super. Yeah. Do y'all have any insiders? 
I would say I would say slick stuff on her photos of someone that she would confide in me about because I knew that person would see the comments. <laughs> so I would say slick stuff over under her photos. I don't like like an inside joke. We can't hold water, so if we something funny happens, we telling everybody like guess what happened. <laughs> Man, everyone's gonna see this. Like I didn't tell her nothing. No, I can keep secrets. Yeah, we're not talking about like that, but we're talking about like laid back, chalant, like inside jokes. Just like to I think we just have inside jokes about that one person. Yeah, I'm sure we just about that one person. We're shooting all the shots on so. So, and my shots be so kind, like you wouldn't even know that I'm even okay. shooting a shot. <laughs> it's lovely. Describe each other in three words. I'll go first since you went first on the what do you like. Favorite thing about one another. Uh, three words to describe each other. Funny, kind, loyal. Oh, sorry. Funny, kind, loyal. I like that. I would say funny, mother. And funny mothers without fun. strong. <laughs> she's funny. She's a, she's an awesome mom, and like like I keep saying that. But she's also strong. Like we tired. Tired. <laughs> Don't mean you ain't tired, but you're strong. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I would tell teleportation. Facts. I'm tired of driving. <laughs> Now Not only that, exactly. <laughs> but like, if it's just like a day, everybody grab my hands. We're going on vacation for the weekend. We ain't gotta pay nothing, <laughs> and we'll be back on time. So teleportation, like that's all I want to do. I want to be able to just be somewhere. I want to get from here to my house. <laughs> <laughs> and like the mall, like I live right by the mall. Yeah. And it's just so congested that if I could just, oh, uh, I don't like the mall. Using my mimosa palette today. We're gonna try to do some pink. Light pink though, because She's I know it's be all winter. girly, I'm gonna be all gothic. <laughs> How long have y'all been best friends? Our first hangout was all in August. Yeah. So my guess, my cousin got married August 8th, so August 9th. And we just been friends with you. So three, four months? That's crazy. Yeah, because I feel like we've been hanging out forever. When you guys get to heaven, what is one question you will ask God? I don't even think Why? I'll have, <laughs> no, I don't even think I have time to ask him anything. I'm probably just gonna be like, thank you that yeah. I'm not in hell. Like <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be like an, an exalting and just like work like you go into worship, there is yes. no question about like why did this, this, and this happen? No, nah, Jesus, thank you, it all happened because we right here now, like Yeah, like I don't even care about anything that I went through on earth. I have no questions about it, but thank you that you but got why to. why are they here? <laughs> <laughs> I know you've seen what they did to me, Lord. <laughs> that wasn't right. You know it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you guys believe has strengthened your friendship? God and only God, because uh, friendships don't just happen like this. At least not with me in the world. Like I had to kick it with you multiple times and we couldn't be one-on-one. -on -one. Like we had to be in groups before I even decided if we could call each other friends. So, I, yeah. I mean, only God could have put this friendship together. It was kind of like together. a blind date, but for friends. Yeah. Because we've had little conversations on, like, social media, but, like, not, like, deep Yeah. If you could only use one brand of makeup for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm going to have to say Elf, because Elf has been on the come up lately. Elf's been on the come up. They got good eyeshadows. They have a good setting powder. Good from. They have a foundation that's not the one I'm using today. It's actually really good. Primer, setting powder. I was trying to say Elf because they have everything. I don't know because I only use the same certain things. She be on makeup. I got on this extra blue shirt and I'm down. I'm about to do extra crit blue. Hurry up, Mokey eye. You both did a blue look and seen how. That's dried up. Is there a I can change. I mean, you don't have to. Grab me that palette that's behind you. Is there a blue one here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, switching it up, y'all. We're not doing a pink look. We're both doing blue. How old are we? I'm 27. I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> I am 28. No, I actually turned 28 in February, so. Baby. Goal 
goals for the future? I just want to be... My ultimate goal, honestly, is just prayerfully training my kids up to where they do not depart this path because that's probably my ultimate fear. And like the YouTube, the money, like everything else, like is not as important to me as my kids. Is. Did we answer that question? I didn't. You, well, I don't know if you were finished. Oh yeah, just raising my kids and like just making sure my my family's prepared for whatever may come. Or like my goal, my ultimate goal for the future. I would have to say the same, and I also um, I'm stepping into a season to start my ministry towards women. So I'm just I'm excited to see how that. Goes. Yeah. What is the biggest change the Lord has done in your guys' life? Oh, where do I start? But the biggest change, taking me out of that party lifestyle and party mentality. And when I say party, I mean smoking weed, drinking. How can I say this politely? Being a whore, you know. The way the world teaches you, it's okay to live. Um, I will say the same. Uh, different. Okay, so same party lifestyle. Um, sleeping around is a better way I could have said that. I think um, one of the biggest things is like settling in relationships that I knew I deserve more from. Yeah, I was going to say just pulling, God really just pulling you into the role, the role of what he's called you to be as a godly woman. Yeah. And then allowing him, like softening my heart to allow him to do that. Favorite candy? Starburst gummy. Snickers. But only the one. <laughs> Favorite fast food? Chop chop. That is fast food. Okay, there's a drive fast food. There's a drive through. <laughs> okay, you're right. And I'm not arguing with you. Well, you questioned it. Like, yeah. uh, favorite fast food for me? Probably Chicken Express. They got good tea. Yeah, they do. We made the first move to become friends. <laughs> Not me. I think it was mutual. Yeah, but like, somebody said before that. Well, we can answer that one. Who made the first move to become friends? I think it was like a mutual. Like she had hit me up, and then like I had hit her up, and then we like. Yeah, and I didn't hit her up like, oh, let's be friends. I just kind of encouraged her in her walk with God after I seen she. We should go back to messages. I don't know. I deleted my whole Facebook. Like, were they Facebook messages? Mm -hmm. Do you have messages? Mm -mm. Like, I don't have a Facebook account at all. Like, it's permanently deleted. It's not deactivated. It's out. Are there any on Instagram? You have to go way back. It was in August. <laughs> but with how often we message, <laughs> that's a lot of days. It's like 120 days. <laughs> I've done some digging in my day. <laughs> <Just dig. laughs> well, FBI agent over here. Okay. <laughs> okay, somebody said, I've always been curious what your ethnicity is. So I guess that was for me. Black. Yeah, I actually am. I'm, I'm black and Hispanic. And I say Hispanic because my grandma's Spaniard, but my grandpa is Mexico Mexican. So, Hispanic and black. And she just Mexican. She's just a dark Mexican. That's rude. <laughs> my grandpa's coming. His family is yeah, well, we have a lot of Indian, like my sister actually did like the genealogy thing, like breaking down her, like her roots. So I wanted to do like the ancestry yeah, or the 20, my 27 and me or whatever, but they keep your DNA. Yeah, that's weird. They're going to clone you. And they said that um, they're yeah. like trying to sell it to insurance companies. So like if you try to get, if you, so you like come back positive for like certain like, like cancers and stuff that lives that they can tell off your genes and insurance is denied and they're gonna clone you okay. yeah that's why they have so many movies based off of that like they're trying to clone people but the only thing they can't clone is like a person's spirit obviously because that's what god gives people not man mm -hmm. favorite quality of each other what's your favorite thing about each other sense of humor um i have to say her friend like she's her friendship it's probably my favorite quality because she's always the one to like throw everything down when a friend is in need. And I'm not just saying that like only for me because we don't have the same friend group. Like she has her friends and 
I don't do anything for my friends. Yeah. And like, I let people mess with me. Do you mess with my friends? What's one thing you dislike about each other or would change? I don't like how much she just puts herself down. I would definitely change that. And I tell her I'm praying for that over her all the time. Like, for her to see herself the way God sees her and not like how people make her feel. I don't know. Or how people's actions make her feel. Nobody can make you feel a certain way, but actions can make you feel a certain way. Um, what was the question? One thing you dislike or would change about each other? I don't feel like I dislike each other. Oh my gosh, I'm so perfect. She's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's really not, like, like, you have that little thing about me, but I don't. But I, I look yeah. up, but you're further along your walk in. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not, and I'm just kidding, I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not sure. Any fights between y'all spilled the tea? No, really? Yeah, we boxed outside right before. <laughs> no, I'm just I don't think we have fights. I think, I feel like we're kind of like sisters, but even then, like, we don't even have sister fights. Yeah, we never had like a disagreement. And I think that just goes back to like, being able to be corrected and being able to be yeah. teachable, like, because there have been moments where I've like said things to her and she's like, dang, like, I never even thought about it like that. Yeah, I'll be like, I needed that. Yeah. And so then I'd be feeling good, like, look at me, I'm gonna call her something. Yeah. Like, we're truly just sisters in Christ. And it's like being best friends in Christ is completely different from like being best friends outside of Christ because, like, I've had those friendships growing up, like outside of Christ. I'm like, oh, this is my best friend, but like, this it's here. still different from having a best friend inside of Christ. So I can honestly say, like, since I've came to Christ, I can't say that I've had like a best friend. Somebody asked, does she go to church as well? Yes, she does, but we do not go to the same church, and I don't think that should. Let me forewarn all of y'all watching my channel: you can be friends with somebody who goes to a different church than you, as long as what they're learning is of God. Yeah. And she's come to um, the women's conference at my church. Yeah. She's invited me to her women's Bible study, but I have wasn't able to make it to the schedule. Yeah. This one's for you. It's a, oh, wait. Somebody asked me, is this the friend you said y'all live different lives and don't talk much anymore? No, that's my friend Bree. I know Bree and she's hilarious. Yeah, I still consider Brie my best friend because she'll call me anytime she needs anything and I'm there and I could call her if I needed anything and I know she'll be there. But like I said, we live different lives so we just don't mesh like we once did. But that doesn't mean we dislike each other or have problems with each other. In fact, Brie lives next door to my grandma. <laughs> Shout out Brie. Does she watch your channel? I don't think so. Because she's not going to make up like that. Well, I'm going to share this to Facebook and I'm going to tag Brie. I'm like, Brie, you had a whole shout out. So you better watch it. <laughs> And they, somebody asked you, is she married? Does she have kids? Not married. And I have twins. They're 10 and a half. They're girls. And they're in there taking care of her kids. <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, my kids is rough. They're something vicious. Do you want me to read What does she do for work? So That's I'm true. actually a certified medical assistant. And so is Allie. Um, I work in the pediatric clinic. I actually just graduated from Wayland. Check out my shirt. Um, I want to go to PA school, but it's because that's where I want that. Oh my God, can you like, I'm going to do this. So. How has God bonded y'all as sisters in him? I think he bonded us together as in like our walks before Christ are very, very similar. Like our testimonies leading up to whenever we finally had enough and realized we had to give ourselves over to something other than ourselves is what like. Is, they're like super similar, like super similar. And um, even how our friendship happened, like I had someone praying over me to um, form a new circle and have more godly friends. And during the same time, Allie's closest sister moved out of the city. And so she yeah, And I sure was crying to Brian and Brian mocked me about it too whenever I finally brought, it's so funny, like I brought her home to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian was like, and I don't, did he do it in front of you or did he do it whenever I was by myself? I don't know. That. Yeah, well, after she left or whatever the case was, Brian was like, remember when you were like, I don't have anybody anymore? And I was like, Brian, be quiet. And nobody asked you all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I think that's just how like he bonded us. Where do you see your friendship in five years? On a beach. Okay, don't <laughs> about our kids. 
No, but I do expect to be doing grown woman things like that. Like both of us to just really be prosperous in the things of God. And it's not that we're being prosperous, prosperous because of ourselves, but because we're going to be so obedient in our walk with God that God's going to put us in positions to be able to go to go to different places and minister and hopefully even be able to teach on a stage one day together like I think and not teach men but like teach other women like yeah. it don't matter what kind of background you come from you can still find God like I I would that's like definitely a dream of mine for us to be able to go out as like sisters in Christ best friends and like bring other women to the body of Christ so in 5 years and hopefully I got a man. Oh, you will. <laughs> you will have a man. God will, guys, all God is doing right now is preparing you for your man. Do y'all disagree on religious topics? No. When you have the same belief. Yeah. And the same God. Either. Yeah, there's things that like, I don't think anybody's wrong. I, I don't think anybody's wrong in celebrating Christmas. I think you just need to understand because I think that's like the biggest difference. It's like she still celebrates holidays. Brian and I don't celebrate any holidays except for like Thanksgiving and our birthdays. And like we'll pop some fireworks on the 4th of July. But like other than that. I'll do that. Yeah. Oh. But like other than, like I think that's the only thing that we're, we don't do Easter? that's the same. Passover? Passover? Yes, we take communion. We still take communion. But Passover is not even in April. When you look at the Jewish calendar, it's not in April. Uh, and so, yeah, so like, I don't think anybody's wrong for celebrating Christmas. I just ask everyone to fully understand the roots of how Christmas came about before you continue to celebrate it. And I did that with her, and she still felt like. And it was more so because of my kids. Like, it was yeah. like weeks before Christmas. And like, yeah, like I, I had it. I feel like with, with kids, you can't just like yank the rug underneath. Yeah. And, like, teaching. yeah and I never forced her on it either yeah. like I never told her like no don't celebrate it no don't go like I, I gave her the information she took it for what it was we had a conversation about it and it's just like I don't know everybody walks their walk the way that they want to walk their walk and you just allow God to show them when it's time so we don't really have disagreements about it how can I get this type of friendship through God and only God like you have to be willing to sacrifice and yourself and what you want and that all goes back to being able to be teachable and to be able wanting to grow. Because there could have been a lot of times where I could have been offended by the things that she said to me. Even yeah. today, this morning, when you had said that I potentially idolized this man. Like, yeah. So like a year ago, I probably would have been offended and been like, you know. How oh, I would never. God yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I. But, but even, yeah, but then even then, like, I. that's why I had to bring up, like, I'm not telling you this because, like, I want you to feel bad like no I'm telling you this because I went through the exact same thing with Brian like I had Brian on this pedestal and God like took him off that pedestal real quick like hey watch it because you're starting to put him above me yeah and so like and that's not like I told her like she was doing it intentionally because I said unintentionally but yeah like you have to be willing to sacrifice yourself because when God places those friends in your life they're going to be friends who line you up with the word of God they're going to be friends who correct you so you have to be willing to not give up on that friendship just because your feelings got hurt at something that somebody said. How many of you ever hurt my feelings? This look went way left from a soft, soft pink eyeshadow <laughs> look. Well, I'm glad because you were going to do soft pink and I was going to do this. <laughs> Whatever you want to call Last text you guys sent and to who? So the last text I sent to Brian was asking him about his son and how much money we were going to send him for the holidays and then he said Karina was going to get rock bottom and I told him not to run into a pole yeah that's exactly my last text so who were your last text to um, um my last text was to my friend Casey she's going to child support court this morning and I told her that it was pretty or it wasn't I should say I'm praying that it's going in favor of the children yeah, I'm bored. That God's will be done. Ever lie to each other? She said, trying to think of a nosy question. <laughs> no, I don't lie. I don't lie to her. But I do ask her. Like, if I'm about to be bluntly honest, I'm like, friend, can I be real honest right now? Like, real, real honest. She's like, when? Ha what would you tell me last time? When have you not been? <laughs> oh yeah. Because I don't hold back from her. Like, especially when it comes to me trying to 
teach her something of God, like I really try and not to hold back that either. Hardest thing to leave behind when she came, guys came to Christ. Girl, the whole life. Girl, it's hard, it's hard. Honestly, I would have to say something that I'm still struggling with is the unrighteous anger. So allowing things to get to a point, cause I had this problem before I came to God of just being like overly angry at the slightest of things. Okay, I thought I was gonna, I was gonna say like your whole life, but I think the one thing that like, ugh, I don't wanna say it out loud, but like gossip, it's hard. Yeah. Especially like I work in a clinic full of women and like for a good while, like I was doing pretty good and then the like drama arises and then like everybody talks about it and like I, it like, it's heavy on my spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to pull myself out of gossip a lot of time. And even with Karina, I have to be like, Lord, this is gossip. Are we genuinely concerned about these people? But then the Lord corrected me and was like, if you're not praying for them, it's gossip. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, so like, if you're not praying for them, it's gossip. And that's something that I'm still learning in that Karina knows I still struggle with because I gossip with her. <laughs> so she's the bad influence. <laughs> Hardest childhood memory. Childhood. childhood. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was about to say the same thing. Growing up, like, see, but if you really knew my childhood, and I'll be blatantly honest, it's like, I thought my dad didn't want me, and I thought, like, I never knew my dad. Meanwhile, the whole time, like, my dad was in my life, just not as my dad, and I was never told him, so I was graduated and out of the house. So it was like, by that point, it's like, well, I done missed out on all the years that I needed him. Like, there's really no point. Like, I don't know. That was the hardest thing about my childhood. Now that I look back, it's like thinking that I didn't, like thinking that I had a dad that didn't want me. And meanwhile, he was basically pretending to be my uncle the whole time. Scandalous. Yes. Um, I'll just say my daddy issues, cause y'all, we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> if I break it off. Daddy issues? Yeah. We're gonna finish our eyes and then we'll get back to talk, asking questions, y'all. Oh, what y'all's favorite type of food was what we were on? You said Whatever chicken wings. <laughs> and chop chop. I like chop chop. That's Asian. Hibachi. Yeah, I would have to say I like Asian food, Italian, and Mexican food. I could get down with some Mexican food. It's just all that cheese. It just depends who cooked it. Yep. Who's your favorite male and female celebrity? I don't know who my favorite celebrity is. They all wicked. They are. But if I had to pick one, <laughs> Chris Brown. Chris Brown, if you watch this video, girl, check your DMs. Don't take God himself. Next question. Oh, we were still on hidden talent. She said that I she did. I don't really have any hidden talents. I can sing, but y'all know that I'm always randomly singing, but I just be playing when I'm singing on my channel. I can really sing. Brian be getting mad. You think I have any hidden talents? Um, yeah, you're really creative. You're really oh. good at painting. Yeah, I was like you're really cre like artsy. Yeah, not like like I don't know if you can draw or anything like that. No, like whenever you like like she has a really good eye for like design. I guess is a better yeah, word. Yeah, she's always a good eye for design. And like even like yeah, I think that's one of your hidden talents. Like you have a really good eye for design. I guess that's my job. Wait, she's very crafty. Okay, what is your favorite scripture? Isaiah 40, somewhere around the 30s. I have to look, because I don't have men. I don't. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not grow faint. You will soar on wings like eagles. It's my favorite. I'm pretty sure I said it all that word. I have to look. Can you get my phone with it? You don't know the words? Just the gist of it? Mm -hmm. She is rooted in truth one? No, that's actually from that book that, oh. that we read. Oh. It's not, yeah, it's not scripture. I like, I think I, like I can't memorize things because I was in school and like, I was like so overloaded with information that, like I have a good memory for things, but like to memorize something is hard. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Psalm 27, 14. Here's what I learned through it all. Don't give up, don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope. Yes, keep on waiting for he will never do. Ooh, that's a good one. Would you ever <laughs> Brian is so childish. Would you ever shave your head like Amber Rose? That is negative. Yeah. Like I feel like my head 
got some more dents in it. I don't want to see. <laughs> it probably like craters. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I can touch my own head like <laughs> it's lumpy. <laughs> Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us, spending some time with us, getting all in our business. You told them to be <laughs> nosy. <laughs> but alright you guys, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Bye. guys. Mwah.